So with me is Tom Coughlin of Coughlin Associates. Tom, tell us, uh, tell us about the special session you've organized uh, on the tricorder. What is this? So in, uh, at the 2012 Consumer Electronics Conference, Qualcomm announced that there was going to be an X Prize for the building of a medical tricorder. That is a device for doing wireless, non-invasive, uh, diagnostic uh, medical detection of human beings. So that inspired us to put together a special session based upon the idea of trying to build a functional tricorder. And so we have four talks that are looking at uh, you know, what might be involved in building that, approaches that have been taken towards making devices like that, and then what are the implications of making a functional tricorder. What do you think the major challenges are? Well, there's got to be a lot of them. You're talking about very, very small signals that are created by emissions from organs in the human body that you're trying to pick up, uh, you know, pick up those emissions and trying to interpret what they mean to make some diagnosis or possible diagnoses based upon that. So, um, you know, there's an awful lot of things there, both in terms of signal detection, sensor, sensor technologies, in terms of signal to noise and, uh, and trying to pull uh, very small signals out of, out of uh, you know, some ambient uh, noise and then uh, trying to figure out what they mean, you know. So, as you talk, I, I hear a lot of passion coming through. Tom, I suspect you might secretly be a Star Trek fan, am I correct? You are indeed correct. I'm a, I'm a Star Trek fan. I like all the Star Trek stuff. I just generally love science fiction. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you.